So this is from Aohi. This is their mag cube. This little device is a power delivery 140 watt three port GAN, G-A-N charger. What's a GAN charger? The coolest thing in charging technology right now. This is the Gallium nitride <laughs> so uh it's science but basically they've been able to make chargers smaller and stronger so this one can charge 140 watts it can charge a macbook pro at the full charge rate uh, not made by Apple, so very well packaged as you see here. It has collapsible prongs. Now I've had their 40 watt, uh, watt one on here and it was tiny, 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 tiny. Uh, it was a dual charger. This is the heavy duty, the GAN Plus charger as you see here, 140. What does it have for connectivity? You're gonna have your USB A's, you're gonna have two USB type C, so three devices already. I've been super happy with this. How small is this thing? Well, if I take my regular Apple MacBook charger, and this isn't even the biggest one, that's how big the Apple one is. This thing's already smaller in both directions, as you can see. So they've beaten Apple at their own game. And you know what? The Apple one only has one port. Then you start sacrificing ports on your device. So already smaller than the Apple. This is from Ugreen. I've had this on the show before. Now Ugreen and this almost identical. Ugreen makes a great charger as well. This is also a GAN charger. This has different ports layouts but what's interesting about this this is 140 this is only a hundred watts so that was another difference on these this is an anchor charger with the IQ charging technology, but this is only 65 watts. So now you're having to split. You may not be charging your iPhones at full charge rate. So that's another thing that's interesting. This is the most powerful of them all. It does have a non-polarized plug here, which means you can plug it in either direction, but it has this little green charge indicator, right? Now you can grab any type of cable you've got. It's gonna go ahead and start charging in the corner of my iPhone. So the show iPhones there is getting charged. If I wanna charge my MacBook at the same time. I really haven't charged it today. This light already turned blue when it started charging. I can plug this in. I can use my MagSafe connector and I can plug my MacBook Pro in and it's already started to charge that. So hopefully you can see that the lights on. So it's starting to charge my MacBook Pro. I can now charge all three devices at full speed. It's a little bit heavy. I'll tell you that it, it, it's very dense but that's because it's doing all of that charging instead of carrying multiple bricks. It does have all of the different charge rates, including the same one that the Apple needs. That's at 28 volts at five amps. So that's your 140 watts of full power there, which is pretty slick. So you can get 140 watts of total power output out of it, and it splits it up however you need that across those ports. So there you go. That is the MA Cube from Aohi Mag Cube.